Hello, Infiniteers, and welcome back to the Sleepy Hollow Speedway. Last time, I laid the track and the majority of the terrain for this course, and today I'm going to fill in the details. I'm going to build most of the major landmarks, including the town, the covered bridge, and the old Dutch cemetery, and then I'll add in the plants and decorations at the end, and that will finish the build exercise for this toy box. And as I said before, <laughs> this racetrack is fairly quick and easy to build, and you'll see that today as we actually finish this build. So ahead of time, to save a little time, scrolling through all the editor drawers, I placed a few pieces out here. I've got this piece of terrain track from the decorations drawer. This is from the Marvel Battlegrounds playset. So if you don't have this playset, or you're on PC, then you will not have the railroad tracks or the train cars. And in that case, just use the speed bump that's up under the racetrack pieces. Uh, if you go left in there, you're going to find some of these barriers and things, and you'll find the speed bump. This will basically serve the same purpose as that track. It'll provide the same obstacle, essentially, and make the... Uh, cars <laughs> drive have to drive over that. Um, you just won't have the train on lap two, but that's okay. You don't really need it. And then I placed this little piece that's also out of the decorations drawer. It's the fence corner. And I placed this little piece of fencing from building sets group four. Okay. All right, so let's start by building the town, and we're going to place a couple of little helper blocks over here by the starting line. And I would like to place this one right here, but it will not let me. <laughs> so I'm going to go back and kind of treat that as if that block is there. But you're going to place that like so. And let me pull up my screen grab here. All right, so up under building sets group four, we are going to go to the large suburb home. We're going to place this here like this. We're going to place this here like this. And you can flip this around if you want so you have that window on the other side. And I'm going to change the style on this. We're going to use the pink wood. I'll set that to be my theme. I should have done that after I placed this piece. We want all of these houses to look a little bit different. And then we'll add the front door on. And there we go. There's our first little house. All right, let's come over and pick up this little piece of fence over here. These are the little details that just make this look really good. And we're going to put it up next to the corner and bring it back one nudge closer to the road. And then we'll put another piece right here like that. And then we're going to go up to the set pieces, or no, building sets group seven. We're going to use the Gravity Falls Chapel. And we're going to put this um, yeah, right about there. That looks like the uh, little church that's in the Sleepy Hollow Town from the cartoon. And then back to the decorations drawer. We'll add another little piece of fence here. And we'll just kind of fence in a churchyard here. There. That looks pretty good. All right. Next, we'll come over to the corner of this property, go back one nudge. We'll place that there. That's our next little spacer block. 
go back to building sets group four and I'm going to use this same piece here but um, we're going to style it differently using the same model here will save us memory let's use the red brick theme this time I'll set that to be my theme we'll make this one a two-story house <clears throat> we'll spin that around so the window is on the other side and it doesn't look quite so repetitive. Put a roof on, put a front door on. And there we go. We can also go over here and put down a little cobblestone path leading up to the door. I think that's kind of a nice little touch there. And let's take our little helper blocks here out. I already did that one. All right, we'll pick up this little piece. We'll bring this over here. Go to the front corner and we'll put three of these down. That'll prevent any possibility of a car going into uh, that back area there. That's another reason why I have the fences in here. Just keep the player on the street and they don't get stuck behind the buildings. Okay, now we'll come and do this side of the street. And uh, what we're gonna do here, we'll put down another little helper block to get us started. Once again, we'll come to this side of the post and we'll go back a one nudge off of the street. And then let's pick up this little piece of fencing again. Put that back just to get to that part of the toy box editor. We're gonna put the first little piece of fence right here like you see. So just like that. And then uh, we'll come and grab our little piece of building here again. And we'll bring that over here. Put that right in that little corner. Just like that. And I think it um, doesn't really matter, but I think I'll put leave the window on that side. Because the player is racing in that direction, so I want them to be able to see it. And uh, we'll leave that one as a brick as well. Okay, and then a little bit more fencing on the opposite side. Like that. And we need a front door. And there we go. First house on that side. Oh, we can take out our little helper block there. We'll come grab this little piece of wall. We'll place that back here on the back corner of this house, just like that. And that tells us where we need to put the next house. Um, actually, it's pretty close. I can just scroll over. All right, so we'll put this here. Um, and I'm going to slide that back, mainly just so that the player can see the detail on that house. Once again, we'll change the theme because we don't want all these to look the same. I'm going to use the blue siding. I'll change that to be my theme. We'll do a two-story. We'll spin that around so it doesn't look quite so repetitive. You don't want two picture windows directly above each other there on the side of that house. Place that there like that, and there we go. And we'll pick up this wall again. This time we'll come over to the back corner of this house. Put down two of these. And then we'll put down our next piece of house here. And for this one, We'll theme it to use uh, this orange brick. I'll set that to be my theme. 
Once again, a roof and a door. And we'll put a little nice picket fence around it. Uh, I'll slide this one out a little bit, actually. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. And this one will carry the fence all the way to the back corner. Okay, and there is our town. So pretty straightforward. All right, next thing we will do is I thought it would be nice to have the uh, windmill. Uh, let's see, that is up under the set pieces. The New Holland windmill. We're gonna drop this down. I'm gonna line it up with the terrain seam here on the cliff, right up to the edge of the terrain seam there in the front. So we're gonna place it right there. That centers it right on the road. All right, for this tunnel, let me go ahead and make sure I have my theme set. Once again, we're using the Dragon's Domain. I'll set that to be my theme. Then we're gonna pick this piece up. We need a total of 12 of these, so I put it two down last time. So we'll go three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then we're going to pick this piece up and put it down to get back to that part of the drawer, and we'll use this to kind of cap the end of that. And then we'll put the train tracks in. And again, if you don't have the train tracks, use that speed bump. All right, so the first one we're gonna place right here on the corner of the terrain, just like that. And we're just gonna run this all the way back through the tunnel till we get to the end. We don't actually need that piece of track because we're at the end of the tunnel. And then we're gonna go right across the road and you'll see now <laughs> we have a collision here. And so in order to fix this, what I'm going to do is we're gonna lift this piece of road up. You probably won't have this problem with the speed bump, but if you do, you can use the same trick. So let me pick this piece up and put it down. We're gonna use a replayer to put this down. So we'll come up to the Creative Toys, and it reset that drawer on me. I should have dropped the uh, replayer ahead of time. That would have saved a few seconds here. Uh, went right past it, I think. Yeah, there it is. Replayer. All right, and then we'll come out of the editor. We'll step on the replayer to get our menu in the lower right. On my Wii U, I press B to start recording, and then I gotta step off to get back into the editor. Go back down to the decorations drawer. And we'll put our train tracks in like that. And then I will exit, come back into the editor, press B to stop recording, A to clear. That takes the track out, and then we can put the racetrack back down. Yeah. 
exit out of the editor and come back over to our replayer and do a playback. And there we go. There's our railroad track. And then we can go back down to the decorations and put the rest of the track in to the edge of the toy box here. All right. And because we don't want to see daylight on the back side of this, we're going to put down a helper block here. So under the basic blocks, we'll go left. We'll look for the large block wall. Put that right on the end. And I'm going to style this to use the modern theme. And there we go. So now when you look at it from this side, looks like the tunnel just goes on into the darkness. All right, at this point we're done with that replayer, so we can delete that. And there's the railroad tracks. Now for the river. Once again, we're going to use the basic blocks. We're going to use this floor piece. I'll drop this over here, and I need to set the theme. I'm going to use the water theme. And I think I have to scroll a ways to get to that. <laughs> How are we doing on time? Oh, pretty good. All right, here's the water. I'll set that to be my theme. Do, 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 do. There we go. All right, and then we'll put down the river. You don't have to go too far with this because the player is not going to see too far down the road there. All right, so there we go. And for the bridge in the middle, you'll find the Sleeping Beauty bridge under the set pieces, or the Sleepy Hollow, rather. Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Sleeping Hollow. Sleepy Hollow bridge. We're going to drop this right down here like that. And it looks the same from either side, so it doesn't really matter how you orient that. And there's the bridge. Now the last thing we need is the cemetery, and that goes over here. I think we're going to go a little over today, but um, oh wait, we can use this block here. All right, so we're going to put two of those down on either side. And for the graveyard, you'll find this up under Building Sets Group 3. If you go left to the Halloween Town pieces, you have these, uh, these graveyard square pieces. They have different paths and things on them. So you can orient these however you like, but um, I'll show you how I'm going to do mine. So we're going to start with this little corner piece. We'll put a straight piece in here in another corner. Just kind of build a little cemetery that meanders through here. We can spin this around. Uh, we can use the one in the middle here to kind of fill this in a little bit. But you basically just want to build something that uh, looks visually interesting. Uh, let's see, we'll put another little curved piece in there. Have it go that way. You don't have to go nuts with this, but um, you want enough detail in here. 
We'll put this piece over here like that. And there you go. And then on this side, we're going to kind of do the same thing. Now the player's not really going to have time to look at that uh, <laughs> path too much and notice whether or not it connects with the piece next to it, but I'm a stickler for detail, so I want this to line up nicely. Spin that around so it's not too repetitive. There we go. So now we have the graveyard. And then <coughs> for the hill over here, we use this graveyard hillside. And I want to put that ramp there that you see on the right, on the back side of this, because I don't want the player to see that. We'll just drop this right here on the corner of that terrain piece that's underneath it. All right. So at this point, what I'm going to do is go offline and place all of the trees and decorations. And then I'll come back and give you a quick flyover tour to show you which pieces I placed and where I placed them. And then we'll be finished with this build. Okay, I am back and I have placed all of the trees and decorations all throughout the entire toy box. <laughs> so let me show you what I've done and I'll give you a good look at this so that you can recreate what I've got here. Feel free to pause the video along the way so you can copy what you see. So most of these again are the first nine plants out of the plants drawer. They're the customizable plants. And if you don't get the placement of these exact, that's okay. Notice the orientation of that little sprig on the corner of this tree. And on this one. You can kind of look at the terrain seams and the objects around it. Kind of judge the placement. Notice I'm back a couple of blocks away from those houses there so that when I resample or resize these, the trees don't uh, get too big and overlap the houses. And I'm not going to linger long in any one spot because again you can pause the video along the way. And notice the terrain seam here and how these are kind of lined up with that. <laughs> Not intending to highlight those trees, just the spark mode cursor just happens to be doing that. I'm kind of going around the inner portion of this first. I'll go around the outer portion here in a moment. Try to give you a good look at this from different angles too, so you can see how the trees get placed in different spots. We'll come back to this upper area here shortly. But I want to go around the lower part of this first. Alright, and then along the back side
And these are all at the level there of that top area. Oops. Didn't mean to swing the camera around that far. <laughs> Sorry. These little fence pieces here are from the decorations drawer. I believe they're from the car's playset, but you can purchase these without that playset from the uh, toy store. So notice the terrain seam that's running through there. And this last one kind of lines up about like you see there. And then I've got some other trees and things there, but I'll get to those in a moment. Let's uh, run through this little middle area here first. Before I forget that... Don't get too close to the train tracks, because you don't want the tree to cover up the tracks. All right, and then coming back over here to the farm. Just have a set of trees along the back here, around the perimeter, to kind of hide the edge of the toy box. And notice, too, I placed the barn and that little uh, silo. These are from Mickey's Fantastic Farmstead. They're the two pieces that you saw there in the drawer. The exact placement of those doesn't really matter. It's just something with a little bit of color to break up that section of the toy box and add some visual interest. Over here around this part of the turn, we have some additional trees there. Again, I'm just trying to give you a good look at those from different angles. Behind these houses, again, notice there's a gap there. Don't put them too close to the buildings. You can kind of see the spacing there. All right, and that is it for this area. So now we'll move it to the upper section over here. There's not too many things here because the player is going to not see a lot because of this wall. But once they get up here, we have some fence pieces. These are the same ones over at the other farm. And I basically started about here. I put three fence pieces over that way. And then I just ran these all the way down about this point on the slope and then on this side just kind of copied what I had done on the other side there and then we have a few trees here just to hide the edge of the toy box and some trees back over here to do the same Oops. And then on the other side of the river, let's see, we'll start on this side first. I'm trying to give you a good look at that tree. Not really a lot to comment on here. I know this isn't the most exciting <laughs> video to watch, but 
On the other hand, for people who are wanting to build this, they need to know where I put all the trees. And so here you go. And again, if you don't get them placed exactly as I have them, that's okay. As long as they're in the general area, general vicinity, then uh, you're good to go. And I don't have to go too far back here with any uh, trees because <laughs> the player's not going to see that far back through the trees. We put this one here, around the corner over here we've got this one lined up with this slope. A couple of trees there. Some trees back over here. All right, and then on the other side, go around the middle here first. Notice the little color of where the flower is, the purple flower on that piece. So you can see how I oriented it. There's a lot of trees here. But we're kind of using them as a screen, as a barrier to uh, hide the edge of the toy box and some of the empty areas. And it also fills it in, makes it look like a forest, which is needed. And when you're driving through there, it makes it look like it's a deeper forest than it really is. Let me give you a look at this from this side, too. All right, and that's it for the upper area. And then we have the cemetery. And we're almost done. Okay, that gives you a good idea of where all the trees are and all the decorations. All right, so once you have all of these placed, then we need to style them. So you'll go into the styling menu for one of them Go over to the Briar Ridge trees and theme all. Are you sure? Yes. And then just wait for the magic to happen. And there you go. And with that, the build exercise for this toy box is done. Next time, I'll show you how to hook up the logic for it, and you'll have a brand new racetrack to enjoy. Before you go, please hit the like button and leave a comment if you enjoyed my video today. I'd love to hear what you think of my build for this course, and if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, just click my photo in the lower right corner of this video. You may also want to follow me on my blog, where I occasionally post other things related to Disney Infinity besides videos. That's all for me today. Have a great weekend.